underground bike parking space, which can accommodate over 800 vehicles. It opened in April this year. It's easy and fast to park. And all you have to do to pick up your bike is place an IC card on the scanner. The transporter goes down while rotating to the exact spot the target bicycle is parked. It clutches the front wheel and then swiftly returns the bike to ground level. This takes only 17 seconds on average for a bike to be delivered to its owner. I like it because it's easy to use, and it's also very quick. Even when it's rainy, the bikes never get wet. It's very user-friendly. This type of underground parking was developed by a piling machine maker called Giken Seisakusho. The firm is based in Kochi Prefecture, western Japan. The firm developed a unique method of driving pillars into the ground using pressure some 30 years ago. This attracted a lot of attention as it generated almost no noise or vibration in contrast to the then conventional techniques. Now the firm boasts annual sales of more than $80 million. The firm has applied this technology for building parking spaces. Pillars are first driven into the ground in a circular shape. The earth within the circle is then dug out, while the pillars remain to form an outer wall. A parking facility is then built into the underground space. Using this new method, the firm can substantially shorten the construction period and reduce costs. The most challenging task was to figure out a way to shorten the time required to put in and take out bicycles. The developers set their sights on servo motors, a part of industrial robots. Servo motors can move objects to designated locations swiftly. This technology was applied to building a parking mechanism. Lifting and circulating servo motors transport the bikes from the bottom level to the surface in a mere 21 seconds. Furthermore, the developers did a lot of research to devise a way to accommodate as many bikes as possible in a limited space. Conventionally, bikes are placed in vertical layers, each measuring about 1.3 meters high. This requires enough horizontal space to avoid the handles from hitting each other. So the developers decided to make a drastic change to the layout by aligning them in a zigzag pattern. In this manner, the horizontal space could be effectively used so that more vehicles could be parked. But when they actually tried out the zigzag layout, they ran into a new problem. The handles brushing against the baskets or the pedals against the handles. This led the developers to examine nearly 3,000 bikes in search of the optimal layout. After one year of research, they finally succeeded in boosting the parking capacity by 40% from 144 units to over 200. Really, anyone could have thought of the zigzag alignment, but we had to spend a considerable amount of time putting the idea into practice, because there is wide variation in size and shape of bicycle. The firm has so far undertaken the construction of 34 bike parking facilities at 11 locations nationwide. It aims to introduce this innovative facility to overseas markets, especially in metropolitan areas, where a solution is sought for limited parking space.